intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey there, Star Trek Fleet Command fans. Welcome back as we talk about this crew right here. Mostly this lady in the middle, but honestly, no matter who you pair with synergization wise, there is a lot of value to be found with this as a new hostile grinding crew in the game. There are some limitations, and actually, I'm going to show you one of those limitations right now where I'm taking the Enterprise out. We're going to hit a heavy transport. So I want to show you this in the beginning because there are drawbacks to this crew. And I feel like it's good to discuss drawbacks in the very beginning and then talk about all the great things you can do with it. And we'll, of course, provide all the information from this video in our Discord. So I ended up winning, but let me show you why I call this a negative. We'll be seeing several logs today. But one weapon right here, H-Class Freighter, hits, Janeway activates, and that's it. No more weapons. So the limitation to this full synergy Janeway crew is simply based on the more weapons, the more OP, OP it is, the less weapons, the less it does. So there are still some advantages, like for example, Janeway, you're getting that isolytic. It's a flat 10%. We'll talk about isolytic damage in a little bit. We still need to make a full video talking about it, but we'll cover it in a couple of minutes. But prior to that, we will talk about the shield resistance and what makes this crew so great. Now, again, the more weapons you fight, the better. But there are actually some hostiles that are fantastic for this Janeway crew. Freebooters, the new Herojan hostiles, Jemadar hostiles, even solo armadas. But we'll give through some logs. So, for example, let's start with this one right here. And this one is using my pylum as a just kind of test bed. And we're going to look at a variety of different ships and crews here. But this is using the pylum of going against a 53 freebooter. So this is me punching up really high. You see at the very top, 8 mil hole remaining. At the middle, only 357,000 hole remaining. And then at the bottom, 10.7. Now, before anybody says anything, yes, I realize that Chin did nothing against that freebooter. I was simply giving a comparison with max mitigation and using our friend in Jean-Luc Picard. But the point was to show the big disparity in terms of crewing, because we're used to using Strange New Worlds for sure, but we still did better with our Janeway crew. The only negative of the Janeway crew, she lost shields. When she loses shields, you, you kind of have a little bit of a liability there to her overall ability. So let's go over this one, give you another example though. And this is me hitting just your 40s uh, freebooters with a Voyager. And you can see we did much better here than just about anywhere with any other officer. So Pike Moreau Kath, or in this case, Picard Beverly Kath. We've got the Strange New World crew, and then we got the Janeway crew. So let's open up Janeway and get really specific about how Janeway works, right? We've all kind of gotten to where new officers can be, I guess, annoying to an extent, because there's always new things coming out. But this set actually has a lot of value. And for when the event store rolls around, if nothing else, you want to get her at least unlocked at tier one. So bending the rules, this is a really big one. And again, for those curious at tier one, this is very, very good. Literally a tier one officer being a fantastic addition. So tier one, 10% isolytic damage. It goes 10, 15, 20, 30, and then 50%. So that is a pretty significant jump because she's a flat addition. Whereas the artifacts are, you know, that multiplicative process. You might only get like a 0.1%. Whereas here is a true 10%. And if we go to a log, which we'll do in a second, you'll see that 10% of your damage becomes ISO, which bypasses mitigation in its entirety. And that is very, very exciting for me. I absolutely love that. So to give you a visual of what that looks like, here is a Herogen Elite. Picard Beverly Chin up top. Right here. Obviously better. Numbers are better. But... Why did this happen? Well, let's actually go into a log and show you why it happened. So what ends up getting created is more damage thanks to, and we can honestly pull up just about any of these logs. That's a Strange New World one. Let me pull up one that's actually our, um, the one that we're looking for. Sorry, uh, just a second. Herogen Elite, this is, all right, great. So if you look right here in the log, see here is our damage. Granted, the Voyager has more damage versus an Elite, but you see, our isolytic right below. We got a actual 10% right there. And for those curious, you can combine that with Picard Beverly. Picard Beverly having synergy with Janeway on the side will turn into a 22% 
so you can actually start creating a lot more isolated damage and we've had people do that with armadas we're not covering that really in this video but for those curious yes you can put those together yes you can trickle it down and yes you can make some really big iso numbers using those crew loadouts but that is the officer ability of janeway now let's talk about the captain's ability of janeway and this is actually where i love her versus a slew a different hostiles here we did this one earlier today here's some freebooters we did it with strange new worlds we did it with a uh, janeway i'm just going to find one that actually includes janeway for here so this one bam so we know freebooters shoot a lot so what you're going to find is bam first shot activates janeway every shot after that zero hole damage zero hole damage zero 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 because what her captain's ability does was full synergy is for that round right here you're going to go from 80 percent to 100 percent. now those that don't remember how this works look on the left side you see mitigation and then the receives shield damage shields when they're operable not counting abilities start at 80 20 as in they stop 80 percent of any non-mitigated damage and then pass the other 20 percent to the hull well, in this instance, when we've got a wonderful lady named Catherine Janeway, what ends up happening, and this is a big like moment, is you get no damage to the hole unless there is an ability that negates it. For example, if we talked about that screenshot I just showed, remember the Herogen Elite? They have the ability where they will stop you for 10%. So they'll lower your shield mitigation by 10%, but she does overcome that in two shots. So that means that you would only get a 10% improvement on the second shot and a complete reduction over on the third and any subsequent shot after that. I know it's to sound a little bit confusing, but this is also what makes them so good is the uniqueness of how they work. So let me put this on the screen again, just kind of give you some examples. We'll use this one right here. So see the freebooter? The big thing here is the freebooter after that first shot did no damage to the hole in that first picture the only drawback to the janeway captain ability is it drives all damage to your shields meaning if the shields go down you go down you want to keep the shields up and this actually opens up something of a cheese method that we'll cover in a little bit but first let's talk about isolated damage why is the officer building so great for janeway why is janeway such an impressive officer because isolated damage is a percentage of your regular damage after you've had all the calculation done and then it takes a in this case janeway 10 percent flat and it bypasses mitigation completely so normally as you can see in this graph your damage is going to go against mitigation then shields then go after the hull but what ends up happening is isolytic bypasses your mitigation completely or your opponent's mitigation and there's a new line there you have isolytic damage and isolytic mitigation and if there is no isolytic mitigation which no hostiles currently have you simply have bypassed mitigation completely and all that damage goes straight to shields and then straight to hull so when we talk about how important mitigation is and we, we have talked about this for years mitigation can stop up to 70 percent of damage before it even reaches the shields so you could be getting that 70 percent of your damage back even though you're creating a smaller amount, more of it's going directly to attack your opponent instead of it being that glancing type blow. And you can, because these officers work versus armadas, make some really cool stuff. For example, I love this one. I did this earlier today to prove a point. Wow, is the point. Now, I also did it a couple different ways, but up top, 5 6 Kirk is a very common Enterprise crew. This is a level 46 Jemadar Solo Armada. And this is only the Enterprise. No other ships are in this. This is just the Enterprise. At the top, does 7% damage. At the bottom, I lose 40% of my hull and I beat it. An Armada eight times bigger. Now, this is a very unique to the Enterprise level of cheesing here. But if you have an Enterprise, if you're a player in the 30s or 40s, this has given you the ability to really punch a heck of a lot higher. But it even goes beyond this. For example, I'm going to pull up another crew in the background real quick, and then I'll take that off the screen. I'll make sure I find it first before I show it to you. So I did that one. Let's see if we did this one. I'm looking for a specific one that I did. If I can find it. There it is. All right. Now we can come off the screen, and now we can show you the, the real juice. So this is no Kirk at all. 
only using Harry Kim below decks with Miles O'Brien, Janeway, and Bellana Torres. Now, why does that matter? Because this is a baby Harry Kim. Very baby Harry Kim giving me morale. Very baby. This is, if you had leveled Harry Kim, you're going to get a much better result from this fight. But look at the amount of damage you end up creating because of Miles' shots and how many more shots he's going to add to the Enterprise. Look down here. Not only am I getting big shots, but I'm also all that ISO I'm passing along thanks to Janeway's officer ability. I'm getting, you know, when I'm hit, I'm taking zero damage after uh, the first two shots because I'm only got plus one synergy here. And then look, with Miles, all this ISO that we're making more and more. And if I can keep my shields up, as in if I have Harry Kim to at least tier three or tier four, I'm pretty likely to continue to grow. This becomes an even more impressive rollout. So you can really make some amazing things happen with the Enterprise as you get these officers leveled up. And when the event store rolls around, I'm really going to be pushing people to get the officers. And I'm very curious to see what the overall sourcing for these officers are. But right now, you truly do have another viable, very good Armada crew and hostile grinding crew, which I think is the more important piece here, is you now have Strange New Worlds, you now have the Voyager crew, and then you still have your Pike, Moreau, Chin, Picard, Beverly, Kath, etc. Let me know if y'all are using all these down in the comment section below. This is all built around Janeway, of course, but the cool thing, Janeway's captain's ability, doesn't care what officer, you get full synergy. Doesn't matter if it's a command, engineering, or science. All these things are why this crew is quite possibly the future and the best hostile grinding crew that you have. With the exception of traders, because I only got that one weapon. But overall, pretty impressive. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Live long and plunder. If you have more questions, hit me up on Discord or Facebook. Appreciate y'all. Catch you on the next one. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.